Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of my micro quadcopter build. In this section we're going to put together the top plate which is the FPV gear. So let's get straight into it. First of all I have this little camera. It's a 600 TVL tiny little camera and that sits in the top plate at a slight angle which means that when you're flying forwards the camera is actually looking level. Next up is the 200 milliwatt transmitter and lastly we have the DC to DC 1S to 5 volt step up converter. So this converts the power from the 1S battery up to a constant 5 volts. It's got a maximum output of 2 amps which is more than adequate for what we need. So this is just offering the parts up into the top of the quadcopter frame. It is quite a tight squeeze but they do actually all fit. For soldering all this together I'll probably just use the cable that comes with the camera. Use the excess from that just to connect it all together. Okay, so I've trimmed the leads on the camera down. They're now the, uh, roughly the appropriate length. So I'm just going to tin them quickly. And then it's just a case of doing it exactly the same on all the pads that are going to be used on the DC to DC converter and the video transmitter. Next was a case of wiring up the 5 volt side. So that was a lead from the positive and the negative side of the 5 volt converter to the camera. I also tacked on another lead from that which again positive and negative which will go to the transmitter. And then lastly it was a case of reflowing the cables for the actual video to the transmitter. I've sped a lot of this up and chopped some of it out because it was quite fiddly. Um, it's quite fiddly and I couldn't really do it on camera due to that. So once that is complete that is the 5 volt side already done. It's just a case of then making sure it fits in the top plate. So this is just some close up shots of how I've arranged it in the top plate I'm using. Hopefully it'll help if you decide to wire it up the same. So I just wanted to make sure everything was working correctly. So what I've done here is tack on a couple of wires through to just a little battery box I've, I've 3D printed. Inside that is just a single LiPo cell. So that's immediately powered everything up and that's just been received by my monitor. So, all looking great. To secure everything to the top plate, I'm just going to use a dab of glue for the camera and for the boost controller. And then I'm just going to use some double sided foam for the transmitter. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little dab will do. I also put a little bit of glue just where I'd soldered the two wires onto the 5 volt output. That's just there just to give it that little bit of strain relief just to hopefully reduce the chance of vibrations damaging the connection in any way. It's not imperative but it was so easy to do. thought why not? You can also see here I've soldered on a tiny little bit of copper for an antenna. That's just over 12 millimeters. I've got the measurements for that just off the internet. I don't fully understand the science behind it, but it seems to work fine. And there we go. That's everything that's needed securely held in place. All that I need to do now is connect the top and the bottom plates together. So I've just got a little bit of two car cable. Just sold that directly onto the pads on the ski sky. Cut it to the right length and then solder onto the input side of the DC to DC converter.
and that's all there is to it. Then just put the top plate on top of the bottom plate. I'll just put a pair of 3 mil bolts through and use the top plate for the battery this time. That's again just held on with an elastic band. So ready to fly including the battery. It weighs 55.4 grams. There we go. That's it complete. Ready to fly. So let's actually go fly it. Okay, so flying this in not ideal conditions. It's a very long, narrow, very solid room. Did cause the video signal to bounce around quite a bit, cause a bit of interference. So initial impressions. It hasn't changed the flight characteristics a huge amount, adding the extra weight. The yaw is fairly unimpressive to be honest. I think I need to start that within clean flight. Unfortunately I didn't really get much chance to fly. I did get unlucky in one of my crashes fairly early on. Managed to hit the roof which has actually damaged one of the motors. So that was the end of that flight. I'll try and do a part 3 shortly where I'll just replace that motor and hopefully have a bit of a longer flight. I will say I'm fairly impressed with the video transmitter and the camera and I guess the, the DC to DC step up converter. They're all performing perfectly fine. The camera I think looks great for such a, a tiny size and the rest of the components are all doing exactly as I would expect really. Okay well thanks for watching. Check back for part 3 shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe.